One of the great strengths of Zotero is that it makes it very easy to keep track of what you find as you're doing your research. This will make your life so much better because you won't be scrambling at the end of your project or assignment to pull everything together and to create your reference list. This video will show you how to import resources such as books, journal articles, websites, and more into Zotero. We will do this the very easy way, the pretty easy way, and the mostly easy way. Do you sense a theme here? Let's start by importing items the very easy way. Once you've installed Zotero, you will start seeing icons in the upper URL bar as you are searching in the library's catalog, databases, or anywhere online. This is how it looks in Chrome. It may look different or be in a different location depending on the browser and operating system you use. The icon will also change depending on the type of item you're viewing, whether there is a book or it's an article, a video, a blog post, a newspaper article. There's a lot of categories. And all you need to do to import stuff into Zotero is just to click on the icon. Talk about very easy. So in this instance, I've searched for a topic in a library database. So I have the option of clicking on the folder icon up at the top, and this folder icon indicates that Zotero sees several things on this page that could be saved. So once you click on it, a list of all of the things that Zotero recognizes on this page as being savable come up. You can go through and check the ones you want, or you can select all. If you only want to save items maybe one at a time, then you can click on the article, and you will notice that the icon up here has changed. It is now just a piece of paper, it looks like, with some lines on it. That means that this is a journal article. All right, now before we click on this to save the item, it's a good idea to set up folders first. So we're going to come back over to Zotero. You can either make sure you're in a folder that you've already created, if this is the topic that you're working on, or if you're starting on a new topic, you can just click on the little folder icon up here and you can create a entirely new folder. So we will do a Zotero is great. I am in this folder because it's highlighted and anything that I save right now will be saved in this folder. Zotero will let you know which folder it's saving it into. Let me show you this. You just click on the icon down here at the bottom. It tells you which folder it's saving it to, title of the article and if a PDF is available, it will save the PDF as well. Talk about very easy. The final step is to make sure that Zotero imported the information correctly. So go back to Zotero and look at the section over in the far right. Did it get the title right? Are the authors there? Is it the correct journal, page numbers, all of that? I didn't have to type any of this in. All of this came automatically when you imported it. Isn't that just so amazing? So importing everything you need at the click of a button is pretty much the easiest way you're going to get stuff into Zotero, but there are other options when that's not available. And those include doing a Google search on what you're trying to find, using Zotero's magic wand, and importing PDF metadata, which sounds scary, but is actually awesome. So there's going to be times when the Zotero icon is grayed out. That means Zotero isn't sure what's on the page you're viewing. This will happen with some things that you find via Google, but it also happens in some of the library's databases like Clinical Key and Up to Date. All is not lost though. So you can click on the little grayed out icon and it's going to save what it can see to Zotero. This is usually mostly wrong and pretty much all of it's going to have to be fixed by you. I'm lazy and I don't like to type, so I would rather avoid that. One avoidance method especially if you have a print item in front of you or something that you're looking at in Clinical Key, is to just do a Google search on the article or book title. Then you find a place that Zotero can recognize. Amazon is great for books, as is Google Books. PubMed or Google Scholar is a great place for articles. And then you can click on the icon from here. This is not seamless, but it's still pretty easy. Another avoidance method is to use the magic wand icon that's up here at the top. This is where you just enter in some sort of identifying number like an ISBN for a book or a DOI or a PMID for articles. So I'm going to enter in an ISBN. This is great if you have a physical book in front of you and you don't want to search or you just want to go ahead and type in the number. You can do that. 
And there it is, magically it appeared. The final method for importing items into Zotero in the pretty easy category is dragging PDFs that you already have into various Zotero folders. The first step before you do this is to make sure that you do have the PDF indexer installed. And this can be found under Edit, Preferences, and Search. If it says Check for Update, you already have it. Then all you have to do is drag in the PDFs that you want into the folder. I have found that sometimes Zotero will automatically pull in the citation information and other times you actually have to select everything, right click, and then say retrieve metadata for PDFs. Now isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? You drag the PDFs in, Zotero found all the information and entered it for you. Just be forewarned that this won't work with all PDFs, especially older articles or articles that have been scanned because those don't contain the required metadata. For those, you can always go back and do a Google search on that title and then import the citation information. Let's say all the other methods are unavailable for whatever reason or you just really like typing. You can still get your item into Zotero using the mostly easy way. You just have to manually enter it. To do so, you have to click on the new item button. That's that little green button with the white plus sign in it. Then you select the type of item that you are trying to create a record for. These are the primary ones, journal articles and book sections and conference papers. There are even more should you have something that maybe is less common. Let's do a video recording. And depending on the type of item you select, Zotero will populate the fields that it feels are needed. So in this case for a video, it wants all of this information. Fill in everything you can and that should be good. Okay, now you have several strategies to get the information you find into Zotero, from importing information in just one click to typing in all the information manually. I hope you find these all on the easy to do continuum. For more information, visit the library's Zotero webpage or our YouTube playlist.